The ability to apply text to a path or curve is a really effective way to apply your type to a very specific area of your design. So let's take a look at a few things we can do with this technique. First of all, I'm going to turn off my example layer and underneath that I have a pre-made ellipse shape I created using the ellipse tool found on the left hand side. So if we now go to our artistic text tool found underneath, we can then go over to the shape and choose where to start typing our text. If you click above the circle in this case, the text will be above and obviously inside the text will be inside and you can see the icon changes to reflect that too. If I also click and drag I can choose what size my text is going to be. So let's start typing something here. And first of all I'm going to show you the arrows we can adjust to control the start and end point. As you can see at the bottom of your screen this is telling me that this arrow will control the start point and this arrow here will control the end point. As you can see when I move the line inside the text the remaining letters are adjusted onto a secondary line. For this next part I'm going to press enter which is creating a new line and I'm going to type out my next section of text. like so. Now what we can do is adjust these secondary arrows. So as you can see by the indicator on the bottom of the screen, this arrow will adjust the start point for path 2, like so. You'll also notice we now have an eye icon which is designed to show you when you have overflow text. So by turning that on and off we can hide that or display it. So going back to my top row of text, if I select all of the text and I'm going to use Command A or Control A on a PC to select everything and then go to our context toolbar, I can click Center Align. That is just going to ensure that all of my text aligns centrally. Now I'm going to adjust the arrows and I want them to be just in the center of my shape like so. This will ensure my text is properly centralized. Now what I'd like to do is adjust the baseline for this piece of text. Firstly by selecting the text and then going to the context toolbar again we can click here and adjust this percentage accordingly. So by increasing the amount to something like 38% in this case we now have a much more consistent display of text. So as you can see the top of the N and the O match with the bottom of the A and the N in the top row. So there you go. There's just a few techniques you can use when applying text to a curve or path in your design.